Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an early look at code spells. This is a very 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 early in development game. Current build version as you can see in the bottom left is alpha version 0.002a. This is a strange game that you may not have ever heard of. It was recently successfully kickstarted but it started its life off as a PhD research project at UC San Diego. This is kind of an, it's an educational game. And the whole point of it is based on the name, Code Spells. You're using code, specifically JavaScript, to create spells. So let's hop in here. So what we're going to see here is obviously us falling into the world and landing fairly gracefully, actually. So there's not a whole lot here. Like You can see the edge of the world. It's pretty small. We're surrounded by, you know, we're kind of in a floating bowl is what I want to call it. You know, there's animals. You see that guy over there. Well, there's a couple of them there. Very, very not optimized yet. Very, very simple. Graphically, it's actually not bad. It really isn't. But that's honestly not the point. The point of this game is to, well, teach you to program. And you might think, well, how does this third person kind of action game teach you to program? Well, if we click, we're gonna launch these orbs. And let's launch that orb and see if we can hit you know if that'll work yeah that's looks like it's good we're gonna hit tab so this was pull on broadcast message this these are spells that were pre-created for the game so now I'm gonna do broadcast pull so I'm gonna hit that and <laughs> uh, apparently just the one I guess the other two timed out the orbs that were there were then pulled towards me so you're probably thinking to yourself, so? Who cares? It's a shitty spell. Well, that's that's kind of the thing. You've got all these these pre-made spells that honestly, like the, here's the explosion. It's uh, not especially great. But this is where this comes in. You come in here, go to the spell book, click on your element that you want and here are a bunch of spells these are all the spells that were created and this isn't super quick right now it's actually fairly sluggish to be honest but this tells you what pull broadcast does on create broadcast message pull now broadcast message pull now broadcast message pull now at different ranges which is kind of cool, not especially great. Then you've got dig, on create, set the orb speed to medium. So what this does, and let's uh, get it, well, let's finish talking about it, on hit, orb other. So when the orb hits something, set the orb speed to stopped, and lower the sand by two, and two radius. So if we go, and pick dig and head down here to the sand and click we lower the sand it's obviously not great it's not perfect it's still very very early but it does what it's supposed to do there's also lift sand and this will continue until that orb times out but here we can raise the sand and we can stand on top of it whilst we raise Ta-da! so it's kind of cool there's there's a lot you can do with this lift object and again I'm just using the built-in spells here so woo, goodbye <laughs> And let's see if we can have it land on us. No. 
and we had it land on us. And that's what happens when you die. You just fall back into the world. It's, it, it's still, still a work in progress, but it's mass based. Why did that? Oh, that's pull broadcast. It set, reset my spell. <laughs> Lift object. Boo. And you can see that the pull broadcast also has that kind of sticky effect to it. So it's all based on these orbs. These orbs do all the work, but there are a, a ton of different options you can do. Go into the spell book again. You can create a new. This one here I actually took from the forum and kind of tweaked it myself. So this actually shows kind of the power of it. So on create, I've got the orb speed set to medium. This is something that they didn't have in the forum post for this. All it was was literally when it hit, when it happened, when the orb happened, this code ran. That was it. So it, it had some issues. So I've corrected them in my opinion. So uncreate, so when I click the left mouse button to create the orb, it's gonna set the speed to medium. So I could set it to fast, slow, stopped, whatever. And then it's, it's just gonna go. It's just gonna go. It's not gonna care. It's not gonna do anything until it collides with something. So on hit, it runs this evaluation. Now this is a debug command. So I'm not sure if these are gonna be in the final code or what, but this evaluation runs a actual instance of code. So you can run this eval and then this, which is just a, a, a string box and you pop this in. So orb instant, instantate, Game object find small creature orb transform dot position orb dot transform dot rotation. So effectively what this does is changes or spawns a creature, a small creature, at the position and rotation of the orb. Once it's done that, I've got it to destroy the orb. Because if I don't have this, like let's let's delete that and head out here. So we're gonna have this summon small tomato. Do that, and, oh, no, the orb actually deleted this time. Oh, hell. Okay, that's not something that's happened before. <laughs> okay, normally it spawns one. Oh, dear. That's uh, destroyed my frame rate. <laughs> okay. Um... Yep. So I broke something. Um, <laughs> getting a whopping six frames a second. Six frames a second now. Um. Yeah, I uh, broke something. Let's uh, bring this down to destroy orb. Actually, let's. I'm just gonna restart the game. Hold on. And of course, this is. Kind of the, the problem with allowing people to create their own things is they can easily break things pretty damn quick. So I've re-added the destroy orb. So now let's see if this is going to work as I wanted. There we go. So it spawned one. What I'm assuming happened when I didn't have the destroy orb it was constantly colliding until it kind of timed out on its own. So now I've got just one, just one little tomato. And I can keep spawning them up until I run out of mana. So you can see on my lower left, kind of the brown, yellow, yellow brown. The gross yellow, we'll call it gross yellow. That bar that's slowly filling up that is my mana. And if you're wondering why I'm running away from these guys is they will attack me. This is actually what they're doing is they're hostile. So if I stop, they're gonna eat me. And of course, they're still there. And as you can see, they're still tracking me. 
Because they love me. Oh shit. Oh crap. Run away. Run away. Oh god. No, 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 no. Ah, no. I had it. Um, while I was fiddling with this, I actually had it. I had so many that I fell down. Come on. I can get up there. I totally can get up there. No. When I jumped down, they killed me in less than a second. There were so many of them. And these guys, unlike the their bigger brethren... Oh yeah, there's no swimming either. Uh, oh yeah, they're, they're following me. Unlike their bigger brethren, those guys don't give up. Like, the, these are what we spawned. Hello. Hi. So, these guys will follow me and they'll attack. But they will eventually give up. Like, I think if I just head over here, they give up following me. Watch it not. Oh no, he's still coming. He is still... Oh no, big guy. But yeah, they, they do eventually stop. And bugger off, I think. They're making a liar out of me, aren't they? Oh no, that's that's a different one, I think. The little guys are still coming, but realistically, we should have two of these guys. Let's uh, let's get rid of this guy. Uh, let's do lift object. Goodbye. He's eventually gonna fall, but those little guys, I think, are still actually tracking me. They went around this way, though. They might be stuck on something. AI's not all there yet. So, the forum for this right now has a lot of people making a lot of really cool spells. Like, this one, the, the Summon Small Tomato here. Summon Mini Tomato. This one... It was just one that I thought was kind of cool, and that's why I did it. But if we do... Let's actually change this to basically what they had. Uh, let's just remove this. Pop you, and get rid of you, and get rid of you. If I remember correctly, this is what they had. And therein lies kind of the issue. When when it's created, that orb is going nowhere. And that orb will just sit there. And it spawns them. And as you can see, they're not really attacking me. And I think that's because they're stuck. And there it goes, just timed out. They do time out, but that's why I put the delete orb in. So, oops, helps if I click on it. This interface has actually gotten faster since the first time I tinkered with it. So now, if I do this again, the orb is immediately deleted. So that that's what that is. There is a update code to it where they put in a for loop, which would delete all orbs, which wasn't very good. But I'm not a programmer, so I haven't really gone through and made my own little creation. They have so many... <laughs> they have so many different um, th threads on their post. They have a thread that has... Whoop, overshot that one. They have a thread that has all the commands. Like everything that is in there. Basically the entire API. they have it. So it's really quite cool. I'm actually really impressed with how this is. Let's uh, explode him. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Ow. <laughs> All right. Anyway, enough of this. <laughs> uh, go check it out. Link will be in the description. I'm going to continue running away from my tomatoes. So much you can do with it with the drag and drop interface, or in the case of this, you have the eval inf 
the interface, which is really nice. I was always, I was thinking when I first checked it out, I'm like, there needs to be a way, because it shows you the compiled JavaScript, and I'm like, there should be a way that you can just type in your JavaScript. But there, there is. It's the eval statement. <laughs> it, it's just there. So that's pretty cool. It, it kind of makes a mess of this. Like, it'd be nice to be able to just write it in. But that's just me. The drag and drop interface is nice. A little bit slow. I do find it a little bit slow. But again, it's still very, very early on. And they've only got basic earth spells in. Like you can see in the spell book here, you've got earth, water, fire, air. So still a long way to go before, oops, <laughs> all right. Still a long way to go before this is actually fleshed out in a full fledged game, but already it's showing a lot of promise as kind of an educational game. And I think that's really what they're going for is an educational type game. A lot of games out there that teach you how to code, you need more. We don't have enough because they're all different. They all do different things and different people learn in different ways. And this, I think, is a great idea. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. I'll stop babbling. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time.